Hello, everyone. I know you're fans of Pika Labs. It's an impressive AI tool that does a lot of great things. But let's be honest, its lip syncing and facial animations could be better. Have you noticed that? However, don't worry, there's a workaround, and I'm going to walk you through it. We'll start by generating an image and using it for video generation in Pika Labs. When you check it against the audio, you'll see the sync isn't quite there. But here's where we can bring in a lip sync tool like Floor 33. With the Say command, we'll use the same image and provide our audio, which could be spoken text or a song. We'll also add a couple of extra arguments. Preprocess full to prevent the face from being cropped and still to minimize unnecessary head movements. There we go. We now have a lip synced video. But without the dynamic background animation. Let's merge the two for the full effect. For this, we'll need a video editor. I use shortcut, but any editor should work. We create two video layers, the top one for the lip synced video and the bottom one for the Pika Labs video. Adjust the timing of the Pika Labs footage to match the lip synced clip. Next up, the mask. Open the original image in an image editor, add a new layer, and with a soft black brush, draw a mask around the area you want to keep lip synced, which for us is the head. Add another white layer in between and save this as a PNG. Back in the video editor, apply the mask from file filter to the lip synced layer. Make sure you're using the brightness channel and soften the mask by 100% to blend the video smoothly. And that's how it's done. Now we have a perfectly synchronized facial animation with the background animation. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Can't wait to see what you create. Do share your projects. See you next time.